talk to most uh, clinicians and certainly clinical scientists and ask them what their greatest medical concerns are at the moment and I believe that many of them will refer pretty quickly to the waning of the antibiotics. We're approaching the end of the age of antibiotics, widespread problems of antibiotic resistance, which is making infection control increasingly difficult. Allied to this is the uh, staggering increase in the incidence of uh, viral infections, add in Hep A, Hep B, uh, the various uh, HIV viruses. Cumulatively, they now infect uh, almost uh, a quarter of all humanity. On top of all this, there is the currently developing flu pandemic. I think that uh, given these factors, it's becoming more important now to try to find ways to improve people's immune systems. And a recent discovery, uh, relatively recent, is uh, that of a, a number of compounds which between them improve the efficiency not of the acquired immune system but the innate immune system. I first became interested in this uh, through my connection with a, an American company called Biothera. They have been working for many, many years with an extract of yeast which produces a high percentage of beta-glucans. These beta-glucans interact with a receptor on the innate immune system cells called the CR3 receptor and greatly enhance its ability to fight off infections. I think, and many of my colleagues think, that this is perhaps the greatest breakthrough in the area of immunology in the last quarter century. And I think given the types of threats of infection that I referred to earlier, that this is going to play a very large role indeed in prophylactic health care and the prevention of pandemics and management of pandemics and the management of infections uh, in the years to come. To the beta-glucans I would add a small number of other micronutrients, all of which have been documented to play a very critical role in enhancing and supporting uh, various aspects of the innate immune system is that it is the beta-glucans specifically from yeast that have the ability to interact with the CR3 receptor in the innate immune system and like a key in a lock turn it on. So the best thing to do is to take a very purified substance and one that has been adequately screened and tested. Now Biothera Pharma as a pharmaceutical company should have invested a good deal of money in uh, testing the ability of this particular compound to upregulate innate immune function and improve resistance to infection. And they have successfully shown that this compound uh, does this so effectively that it will protect against inf infection by um, flu viruses, for example, um, but also, uh, and this is an example of how powerful it is, against anthrax, uh, which is perhaps one of the most um, uh, feared biological weapons uh, that we know of. This is an extraordinarily powerful way of enhancing innate immune function and protecting you against infection. Now I understand that the uh, explanation I've given about how uh, well known how these beta-glucans interact with the innate immune system, it, it is rather complex. And so for this uh, reason, to, 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 to spell it all out and make it a little easier to understand, uh, Biothera have produced uh, an animation which shows in more detail and much more clearly than I can express it exactly how these things work in the body. The human immune system is a highly complex network of millions of immune cells that protect the body from constant exposure to pathogens and disease. One defense mechanism that has evolved over time is the body's response to yeast or fungus. These potentially harmful organisms are initially the target of antibodies, which bind to the pathogen and attract soluble blood proteins called complement to also bind to the target. The complement now attracts neutrophils, the most abundant immune cell in the body. Neutrophils are innate immune cells that are part of the body's first line of defense. Special receptors on their surface bind to complement-coated targets. These receptors have a second site that detects and binds a glucopolysaccharide found in the cell walls of fungus or yeast. Both the complement and the polysaccharide binding sites must be occupied for the neutrophil to recognize the yeast cell as a non-self pathogen and kill it. However, most foreign challenges lack the polysaccharide on their cell surfaces that trigger this killing mechanism. Biothera manufactures and markets patented glucopolysaccharide ingredients that significantly enhance the immune system. Wellmune WGP is the company's branded ingredient for applications in the functional food and nutritional supplements industries. 
Other BioThera brands exist for cosmetics and animal nutrition applications. Taken orally, Wellmune WGP passes through the stomach and is the right size for uptake through the Pyres patches, which are specialized regions in the small intestine. While in the immune organs, macrophages digest Wellmune WGP into smaller fragments and slowly release them over a number of days. These fragments bind to neutrophils via the complement receptor, priming them for activity. Activated by Wellmune WGP, the neutrophils now more quickly navigate to the site of a foreign challenge. With the required glucopolysaccharide already present in the form of Wellmune WGP, neutrophils need to simply bind to the complement on a foreign intruder to begin killing them as if they were yeast or fungus.